Hello everyone, nice to see you again. I am RK. In our previous videos, we saw how to install WordPress in Apache and also Tomcat in the Linux system. Now let's create subdomains for both WordPress and Tomcat and configure them in there. Now let's check the WordPress which we previously installed. Currently my Apache and MySQL are down. Let's start that. Okay, the WordPress is still working. Let's check the Tomcat. Okay, the Tomcat is also working. Now let's create subdomain for WordPress. Here you can see we have a configuration file for example.com. Let's copy this. Uh, WP dot example dot com let's open this file WordPress. Here we are going to move all the WordPress files into a subdirectory called WordPress. Let's save this. Now we need to make it as live. Either you can use the Apache command A to inside or you can manually config the file. Here I am going to copy this WordPress configuration file and paste it in sites enable directory. Okay, let's check the file. Okay. Now we need to move all the WordPress files to our new directory. Here the WordPress directory is empty. Let's move all the files. Okay, the WordPress files are moved to a subdirectory of WordPress. Now let's restart the Apache. Here the files are not available. Before that, we need to assign the WP subdomain in the host file. Here you can see it's working wp.example.com and like the same we can also make a subdomain for tomcat and instead of using it in port 8080 we can try to use that in the port 80. Now let's create a virtual host for tomcat. Ok, 
see. Tomcat.example.com. Okay, let's open this Tomcat configuration file. Let's remove these aliases and document root. And after saving this, we need to enable two mods of the Apache. One is proxy and another one is proxy HTTP. So let's do that sudo a to n mod proxy and proxy http these two modifications are enabled and here we also configure the tomcat so make it as live sudo copy tomcat copy it in sites enable directory now tomcat is also configured Let's restart the Apache. Apache is restarted. Here the WordPress is working. Here the Tomcat on localhost is also working. Let's try to fetch it as tomcat.example.com. So I, I need to configure that in the host file. Okay, the Apache is now working. By configuring the Tomcat. It's fetching the data from Tomcat which is running on local and making it live on the subdomain in the port 80. So you don't need to enter the port 8080 every time you try to visit the site. Now WordPress on one subdomain and Tomcat on another subdomain. Here we have removed all the files on the example.com. So there is no any files only the subdirectory of WordPress is there. Okay guys, that's it for today. See you in the next video. Bye.